Welcome. We are into stoichiometry calculations. The more concept. In this video, we'll talk about how to calculate the when given the more, how to calculate the, the number of atoms, how to calculate the formula you need. Now look at the board very well. I wrote a very beautiful formula. But before I continue, if you go to a supermarket and and you ask them, give me one dozen of biscuits, what it means immediately to the seller is that you need 12 pieces. The same thing happens if you go to the market and tell the woman to give you a dozen one dozen of egg, she already automatically interprets it to be 12 pieces. So a dozen is equivalent to 12. The same thing is happening under the mole. The mole represents a number but a larger number. And I said something, I wrote a very powerful formula here. At the middle of this video, you start appreciating what I just wrote here. That one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the atoms and is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 formula units and is equivalent to 1.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. By virtue of experience, a lot of students, if they are give, if they if they have Give them the number of moles and ask them to what is the molecule in this compound. They have a problem in getting the answer. Today is over. Now, under this video, you can see I wrote what use when dealing with formula conversion units. Under this video, whenever you see like a, a single element like carbon, zinc, neon, Magnesium, once it's a single element, and a single element in a periodic table is just an atom. Now, whenever we are dealing with two, you know that a molecule is a combination of two atoms. Whenever we are dealing with a combination of two atoms, you can see this is hydrogen, two hydrogen, hydrogen and water. This is the molecule is made up of two or more atoms. Then you refer to it as molecule. Now, under chemical bonding, remember. An ionic compound or an ionic bond is the combination of both metal and non-metal. Sodium is a metal. Chlor chlorine is a non-metal. This is an ionic bond. Magnesium is an, a metal. Oxygen is a non-metal. So whenever in the equation you have a combination of metal and non-metal, what you are going to refer to it is the formula unit. Now, example at the board here, you have convert four moles of carbon into the number of atoms. Can you see? Convert four moles of carbon. When I said whenever is one element in the periodic table, you refer to it as what? They will refer to it as carbon. Now, in this equation, <coughs> carbon is only one element. And so, for you to convert it, you must have to, it has to be a what? An atom. If they give you, example, two hydrogen, uh, water, or more than two atoms, they will be asking you to get the molecules. If it's a metal or a non-metal, they will ask you to get the formula unit. Before the end of this video, this will be a thing of the past. That problem you are having. Let's go. Now, before I continue, under this my channel, I'll be using the method I call the stoichiometric, the conversion method. I'll be using what I call the conversion method. Most of my video under stoichiometry, this is one of the methods I like using very well because it's so easy. Now, if you still need the formula method, I have done the video, it's on my channel. Go to the playlist, look for conversion factor. Look for, go to my channel, look for um, stoichiometry on my playlist, you see. Now, let's continue. From this question, we have, using conversion factor, we have four moles. First of all, before you use this formula, you have to know that one mole, look at, they ask us to calculate atom, right? So one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 3 atoms. So your conversion factor is one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 3 atoms. Now look at it. First of all, 
look at it very well. We have four moles in the portion, so you start with what they gave you first. So we have four moles, four moles of carbon all over one time. Now look at this, this is my conversion factor. I'm going to set it in the way that more we can sue more so that I can move from more to atom. So what I'm going to do is I will put this mole here that one mole of carbon is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Now what do I do like this so that this one will cancel this. Therefore you can see that what remains is what? The atoms. Are you seeing it? Like I said, this is so easy. Now if you should punch it in your calculator straight, this should give you 24 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. 24 times 10 to the power of 23 atom. That is it. That is the answer to this. This is so easy. Are you with me? That is the answer to that one. The second example. You have five mole of methane. Convert it into molecules of methane and atoms of hydrogen. Why are they saying you should convert it to molecules? You can see it because it's made up of more than two atoms. Can you see it? So we refer to it as molecules from here. Now, the thing about atoms of hydrogen because it's one single element. Now, for you to convert this, you have to know your conversion factor first. What mole, what mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of this molecule? So I'm going to use this and this. So the conversion factor is one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Now from the question, I have five mole of methane all over one. I'm very sure to arrange this so that moles will cancel more. So one mole of this methane is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Now, this will cancel this, so automatically the answer should be in molecules. And so, you should have an answer of 3.0 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules of CH4. Now, from this question, be careful. We have gotten the one of molecules, and they said an atoms of hydrogen, right? Now, I wanted to put this thing here, but let me do it now. If they ask it for an atoms of um, atoms of hydrogen, we can move from molecules to atoms immediately. Look at what I'm saying. Remember, I said we cannot refer to this as atoms, right? Let me write this here. I already got, we have already gotten the answer for that of the molecule. Now, for you to get the answer for for that of the atom, from this question, you can get it. Look at one mole from the question here. This is one molecule. One molecule contains how many atoms of hydrogen? Four. So from here, I can just come to say one mole molecule contain four atoms of this one. One molecule of CH4 contains four atoms of hydrogen. So if I should use this question to put it, I will have to put it in the same way that molecule will cancel molecule to remain atom. So here is one molecule of CH4. How many atoms do we have? We have four atoms of hydrogen. So from here you can see that this molecule will cancel this molecule. And from we have, we have moved successfully from molecule to, to atoms. And so if you should point it in your calculator immediately, what you should get is for that of the molecules of hydrogen, you should get 1.2. 1.20 times 10 to the power of 25 atoms of hydrogen. I wanted to do this question combined. Remember, first of all, they asked me the molecules. I'm trying to tell you that you can move from molecules to atoms. You can move from moles to atoms immediately. 
So if they're asking for molecules, you stop here. But if they want you to know how many atoms are there, what you have to, okay, just like this question right now. If I don't even want to know um, from this, I want to know how many atoms. And if I remove this, you must come to this place too. You must do one molecule equivalent to this for you to move from molecules to atoms. So note it very well, please. Let's go to the next example. The next example is how many chloride ions are in four moles of aluminium chloride? Now, aluminium is a metal, the chlorine is a non metal, so this is ionic bond. Therefore, this is formula unit. I said it um, at the middle of this video, I said it. Now, that means that we have to move from now. From this thing, you will now see that they want to know how many chloride ions are in this. Because of this, this is a formula unit because this is an ionic bond. Now, you will start, the conversion factor is 1 mole, which is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 formula units. Therefore, you have to start with what is given from the equation. Four mole of aluminium chloride three all over one times one mole of aluminium chloride is is equivalent to so this is six point zero two times thirty four of twenty three formula units. So remember, if this is a formula in one mole of aluminium chloride, will give you how many atoms of this will you get in one mole of this? So, how many atoms of chlorine are there? The atoms of chlorine present, you can see, is we have three atoms of chloride in one molecule of aluminium chloride and so this is one molecule of aluminium chloride you have three cl minus right formula wait i'm making a small mistake this is formula unit not molecule one formula unit of this will give you three chloride ion of this right so what will happen is this mole will cancel this mole formula unit will cancel this formula unit we are now left with three chloride ion how many chloride three chloride ion are in one formula unit of this and so if you put it in your calculator straight what you should get is 7.2 times 10 raised power of 23 formula units now I want to I want to say something because I've been moving from I've been moving from moles to this and this. Sometimes they can, you can have a reverse. You can have a reverse. You can move from atoms to moles. For example, like I have three times three is four, 20, 23, 24 atoms of hydrogen, and I ask you to convert it to mole of hydrogen. So this is easy. What is your conversion factor? Now, start with the one given. Now remember that the conversion between mole and atoms, right? So you want us to move from atoms to mole. So you start with the one you are being given. Three times three is four twenty-four atoms. Atom all over one. Times we want to move to mole of this, right? So this is one mole of hydrogen is equivalent to this times 10 to the power of 23 atom. Therefore, this atom will cancel this atom. So you have successfully moved from atoms to mole. And what you should get here is 5 mole of hydrogen. That is all for this video.